comparative statics in solo diagram. Before I start, I just <clears throat> uh, want to say sorry. I mean, I was not able to make video since last uh, three, four days. There is some problem in my eye. Uh, I hope it will be fine soon. So I, I'll try to complete it. Comparative statics in solo diagram. So we have seen uh, how do we draw solo diagram in the last class, right? And how do we interpret this green curve showing the number of machines added per year per worker. And this red curve is showing you the number of machines need to be added per worker per year to keep capital per worker unchanged. Now let us look at comparative statics means that you are changing some of the parameters. So let's say you change the savings rate or you change the uh, uh, population growth rate, right? Then what happens? So the first case, case one. Increase in savings rate. So we'll draw the initial solo diagram first. So you have capital per worker here and you have investment per worker or replacement investment per worker, gross investment per worker, like this thing here. So you have the green curve. Like this, small S into small k to the power alpha and this curve, which is your replacement investment curve, n plus delta small k. So this class is assuming that you have seen the earlier recording and we know that our steady state is at this point. So at this uh, small k star, the number of machines added is equal to the number of machines uh, need to be added per worker per year to keep capital per worker unchanged. That is what the steady state is, right? Okay. Now we are saying that savings rate is going to increase. So this small s is coming only in this curve, no? this green curve. It is not coming here or here or anywhere. So what will happen is that uh, this uh, savings curve will be because of the increase in savings, the savings curve will shift upwards, right? Savings rate has increased. So savings curve will shift upwards from this point to this point, right? So the new steady state is this now. New steady state is this now. So let me call this as K naught star. This one is small K one star. Acha, now just have a look at this. Let me also just point this out. These are point A and B at which the number of machines added per worker is equal to the number of machines need to be added per worker. Okay. Now you just look at the initial study state. At initial study state, but new savings rate. Listen to me carefully at initial steady state, but new savings rate, this point. Steady state is initial, K not star, but new savings rate. This is telling you what, this point is telling you what? This, this is the point in the green curve, number of machines added per worker per year. This point is telling you what? This red line is telling you what? Number of machines need to be added per worker per year. So what is happening? You are adding more machines per worker per year, then what you need to add per worker per year to keep capital per worker unchanged. So what will happen? Every worker will have now more capital with it. So the capital per worker is increasing and it is increasing till when? It is increasing till new steady state is reached. So at the initial steady state, at the initial steady state and the new savings rate, the number of machines you are adding 
per worker per year is more than the number of machines you need to add per worker per year to keep capital per worker engine. So what will happen? Every worker will now have more machines with him. So capital per worker is going to increase and it will increase till when it will increase till new steady state is reached. That is the point. So what is the second one case two? Increase in population growth rate. Increase in population growth rate. Right? Okay. A small k, this is investment per worker. And here you have this guy, small s into small k to the power alpha. This is telling you, this curve is telling you the number of machines you're adding per worker per year. This is telling you This is telling you um, number of, this is N plus delta small k. This red line is telling you number of machines need to be added per worker per year. This is the initial steady state. Now when capital, uh, sorry, this population growth rate has increased. So what will happen? It has increased from N to N dash. It has increased from N to N dash, right? So the new steady state is reached here. Okay, now listen to me carefully. At the initial steady state in the new population growth rate, beta, these are your two steady states now this one and this one this is the old steady state or original steady state this is the new steady state so at the initial steady state capital per worker and the new population growth rate here what is happening here you are adding less number of machines per worker per year than what you need to add uh, per worker per year so now every worker will have less machines available with him. So capital per worker is going to fall and it will fall till when? It will fall till new steady state is reached. Okay, one step. It will stall, it will, it will fall till new steady state is reached, right? Okay. Achha, then I would want you to just have a look at this. Hmm. So please write steady state. Quantity of capital per worker is given by the condition. K small k dot is equal to zero. But a small k dot key expression we have derived now. S into small y minus n plus delta small k. What is small k dot? Zero. In place of small y, I can write small k to the power alpha. like this right okay now can i write it this way 
S upon N plus delta K upon K to the power alpha. So can I write it like this? S upon N plus delta K to the power one minus alpha. So I can raise, uh, I can take the root of this thing for, for the power of one upon one minus alpha. So it is S upon N plus delta to the power one upon one minus alpha is equal to K, small K star. So this is that level of, this is the steady state level of capital per work. steady state level of capital per work. Mm -hmm. And what is the steady state level of output per worker? So your small y star small k star to the power alpha alpha upon to the power alpha upon alpha minus alpha upon one minus alpha. So this is steady state level of output per worker. Mm -hmm. This is the steady state level of output per worker. So you have the steady state level of capital per worker and you have the steady state level of output per worker. So what is it, what is it that you did in this class? You found out the steady state level of capital per worker and output per worker. And you also looked at two comparative statics that is uh, through solo diagram increase in savings rate and increase in population growth rate, right? Thank you, Vita.